Hello and welcome to Nexania's overview of its expense management system. What you can see here is the home page that you see once you've logged into your own Nexania account. You'll see that there's a sample logo and sample corporate colors. This is all customizable to you and your company. So what people will normally do is they'll click on the expenses tab. You can see expenses, approvals, a customer, client or department tab. It can be renamed to be whatever you want reporting which is where you create your own reports or you can create custom reports and setup where administrators can actually change a lot of different things about their environment. Let's go to the expenses tab. When I click on the expenses tab if I'm a normal user what I'm going to see is all of my expense reports that I've ever created and we display 50 at a page and it goes back a minimum of seven years and you'll see the status of all of the expenses and in some cases like this report there are expense line items in different levels of approvals depending on whether something is in draft which is in orange or is in the process of being approved which is in blue or has a green circle which means it's actually been fully approved. So let's go ahead and click add expense report. When I do that I can type in a title for the expense report and from there you'll end up with a blank expense report. So you can see here that it has no line items and there's no receipts as well. So the th three main things you need to do with ne Nexania expenses is you need to add line items, you need to add receipts, and for most companies you need to link line items to receipts. Now the reason to link line items to receipts is because it makes it very easy for approvals and for financial audit trail purposes to actually be able to click on a line item and see the associated receipt for that line item. And you just you can imagine that could be pretty um, complicated if you have 50 line items and 40 pages of receipts and you're trying to see which is tied to which. It actually simplifies things a lot to see the line items linked to the receipts. So let's go ahead and in this case I'm going to go to the receipt pages and I'm going to upload some receipts. I'm going to pick these off my hard drive and in this case it's going to be five pages of receipts in a PDF file. Now you can actually have multiple receipts on one page. That's not a problem. The other way to get receipts into Nexonia is to click on the fax dot 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 link and if you do that you'll see it's in a couple of places. It's here on the left and it's up here at the top and that will actually give you a fax cover page in PDF form that you can print out. It has a barcode that when you fax it into one of our toll free fax numbers it'll actually read the barcode electronically and any receipts that you put behind that cover page will be associated with your expense report and uploaded as if you did what I did which is to upload a, in this case a PDF file. The third way that you can get receipts into the system is if you have a smartphone like an Apple iPhone uh, we allow you to take pictures from using the camera of the smartphone. Now you can see that these five pages of receipts are in and if I click on it you'll see it down below and I can double click to zoom in and by the way if I double click on a certain part of the page it will zoom into that part of the page. So it's kind of nice for zooming in and out to see what your data looks like. So let's go to the line items and let's go ahead and add an expense item. When I do this, um, I'll just zoom in a little bit by double clicking. I can see here it's for $62.50 and it looks like a meal. So let's go ahead and choose meals dinner. Now a couple of things here. There's a date so you can set the date to be whatever you'd like. You can say whether you have a receipt or not. If you say that you've had a receipt, and your company has line item linking turned on, you will need to link a receipt to that line item. You can have a list of customers or departments and cost centers and even sub-customers, departments, cost centers or projects that are linked to this particular line item. And then of course the list of categories. This list of categories is completely under your company's control. In this case it's the default list that uh, when you create an account. And then of course I'm going to say 6250. Now the other thing to note is you can also we record personal paid company company paid expenses or employee paid expenses. Let's go ahead and link. In this case I'm going to link a part of this page to this line item. So it's nice that when people are reviewing the expenses they'll see it zoomed into that little part of the page. So I'm going to click save and close and what you'll see here is now we have one line item in my expense report. It's on April 25th. It's for $62.50. And if I hide the receipt pages and then decide to click on the paper clip you'll see it zooms right in on that particular part of the page that we were concerned about being the actual receipt for this line item. Let's go ahead and add a couple more. Let's go to page two. Now page two is kind of nice for my receipts. 
because in this case there's a charge for 2607 and there's a charge down in the left corner for 7257. So this is a case where there's two receipts on a single page. So let's go ahead and choose, let's say a different customer and let's make this one, it's gonna be a breakfast, well, maybe a lunch, 2607 for lunch. Now the other part of Nexonia is you can have multiple currencies. In this case, we have Canadian dollars, euros, British pounds, and US dollars, but you can actually, your administrators can enable or disable up to 161 currencies, and they all are active, and they all have daily exchange rates that are automated uh, for you to use. So let's go ahead and put a little box around that part of it to zoom it in a little bit and let's go ahead and click save and new because what we're going to do here is we're going to zoom out and we're going to see this part of the page and it's 7257 so that certainly looks like a dinner and it's paid by my, the employee as well and let's draw a little box around it now the other thing that Nexonia does support is Let's go ahead and click save and close and you'll see that there are now three green paper clips and if I click on any one of them you're going to see it's going to zoom in to the part of the page that we uh, are concerned about for that particular line item. The other thing that we do support is credit card integration. We support both personal credit cards and corporate credit cards and if any of those are enabled for your account what you'll see is another link beside add expense item that says add from credit card. So now that we have these three line items uh, why don't we go ahead and submit them for approvals. Now before I do that, I wanted to show you what it would look like on a smartphone. So what I'm going to do is bring up the iPhone simulator. And when I do that, you're going to see that there's an app open and it's the Nexonia blue icon app. Let's go ahead and close back down to the um, home screen for the iPhone. It has a blue icon and if I click on it, because I just downloaded it from the app store, and it's a free app by the way, it's the one with the blue icon, I can click existing customer. And when I do that, I can type in my email and then I type in my password that I set up for my Nexonia account. When I click save, you're going to see that it synchronizes things and lo and behold, it brought in a list of expense reports. The one that you see at the top is the most recent and it says 161.14 and it's called sample expense report. And if we go ahead and look behind us, we can see that 161.14. So the expense report that I just created has been synchronized to the phone. If I tap on it, you'll see that there's a summary page. It tells me there's three line items, five pages of receipts. I can go down below and I can click on the items and I can see 6250, 7257, 2607. Those are all the expenses that we filled in on the web. And if I click on receipts, you'll see that there are a number of receipts. There are actually five pages of receipts. Only two of those pages are actually linked to line items. You can see that with the number one, the number two, and the number three. Now in this case, all of the receipts were stored on the server because that's where they were uploaded. But if I click on one of the icons, you'll see that I can download them. And when I do that, you're gonna see that now all of the receipts that we actually put in on the server are now available on the phone. So that's as simple as it is. The iPhone application has complete feature compatibility with the web version and let's go back to the web and now what we're going to do is click submit. Now I could click submit from the web or if you were using your smartphone you could also open it and click submit here, submit for approval. But let's just go ahead and do it from the web. When I submit it from the web you're going to see that all the icons went green. That's because in this particular case I didn't have anybody who was going to approve my expenses. So let's go ahead and look at why that would be. My employee name is Neil Wainwright, and if I look at my the user hierarchy, which is an administrative feature, you can see I report to John Smith. So let's go ahead and look at um, uh, John Smith. It looks like the approval process is set to go to a person's manager, and unfortunately in this case, the manager has been assigned to myself. So let's go ahead and change that to be one person above the author, and when I do that, if I go back and I create a new expense report, and let's go ahead and do this one on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and click plus. I'm going to put uh, second expense report, and this one is on the phone. I am going to save the title of it. I'm going to go to line items. I'm going to add a line item. Let's go ahead and see if there are any receipts on the phone. Not right now. So let's go back and choose a category. Let's say we had an airfare charge here. 
let's say it was not in Canadian dollars, but let's put it in US dollars. And let's go ahead and fill in an amount. Maybe it was um, 678 43 and it was in US dollars and because this particular employee is in Canadian dollars it's converting it back to Canadian let's go ahead and click save and now you'll see we have one line item now this particular line item has said that we do have receipts but we haven't actually attached any receipts so let's go ahead and see what we can do on the receipt front now if you had a, a real iPhone you would actually be able to click on the plus here and you'd actually see the ability to actually take pictures with the camera but I do have some saved photos on here so let's go ahead and pick this one here and uh, have a look at it and it's for $24.79 so let's go ahead and link it to the existing uh, expense item and choose that one and click back and since it's for $24.79 it looks to be a, a lunch let's go back and uh, open that line item and instead of making it an airfare let's make it a lunch for $24.79 and click done now by saving that you can see that we have a green paper clip which is an indication that the line item is tied to a receipt we can go back to the main report listing and there's a little refresh link on the top left which synchronizes with our servers you can see that the synchronization has been done and if we go back to the web and we click refresh we're going to see that the second expense reports come in so let's go ahead and uh, submit for approval from the phone and we have a couple options here let's say sync and submit now and what you'll see is things have gone blue and it says John Smith is the current approver I click refresh I'll see the same thing John Smith is the current approver if we go to approvals and we look at the approvals for John Smith sure enough we're gonna see second expense report is here and John Smith would be able to click on the paper clip you'd be able to see it says 2479 he would say it looks good and click approve now in Nexonia we support multiple levels of approvals you can actually have an unlimited number of approval steps you can have them branching based on who owns a department or a project you can branch them based on approval levels you can have expense approval limits that are set and then if you exceed a particular dollar amount it has to go to a higher level for approvals let's go ahead and click OK and if we go back and we look at my expense report you can see it's the second expense report is now fully approved and if we go to our iPhone we can actually synchronize and you'll see that it actually is now marked it as approved as well and that's as simple as it is it's a full synchronization between the, our web and the iPhone client so on reporting you'll see that you have a number of reports if you're an, an administrator you can actually design more reports you can also um, change all your company configuration options I mentioned that the expense categories are completely configurable we do support mileage we do support cash advances we do support all different types including per diems for expenses and of course we do it all through our uh, world leading web interface and our smartphone client with the iPhone I hope this has served to give you a quick overview of Nexonia and what it's all about from an expenses perspective it's very simple you just create expense reports you add line items you add receipts you tie the two of them to the, together and you click submit if you're someone who does approvals you click you click approve once you've reviewed the expenses it can go through multiple steps and then it's ready for transfer to accounting systems we have automated accounting systems for both uh, QuickBooks and NetSuite that are very very automated both from a system configurations perspective and also from a transmission of completed expenses back into the accounting systems we do support other accounting systems like SAP JD Edwards and a host of other accounting systems that are available that we integrate with at no additional charge I hope you've enjoyed this overview we look forward to supporting you thanks very much and have a great day